Do 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 do. Hey everybody, come on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Just in case there's any new people out there that just scrolling through. Um, hey everybody on Instagram. Hey everybody on YouTube. Um, tonight we are going to be focusing on Black Ink Crew Chicago. Now, I'm a little late. I think, like, we're on season three. I mean, see, <laughs> episode three. <laughs> season five, episode three. I'm not even going to give y'all the title of the episode because, um, <laughs> hold on, Keate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on. I forgot to put the phone number up there, didn't I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh. Here it is. Here it is. It's creeping. It's creeping. It's creeping. There you go. <clears throat> is you about to call in regarding Black Ink Crew Chicago? Keontae? <laughs> Girl, let me know. Because if you about to call in regarding Black Ink Chicago, then I'm going to have to... um. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let me hang up the phone first. Let me, I got to get off the uh, IG. So everybody on IG, run over to YouTube, Tanya Knows No Limit. YouTube, run over there right now. <laughs> okay, right now. I'm about to, uh, Keontae is going to call in. Hold on, I'm about to, uh... <clears throat> Call into the um do 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 conference number. Okay. Okay, hold on, County. <laughs> 
Okay, you on the line? I got it plugged up so you can call in now. Chianti? Hello. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's going on? Well, oh my goodness. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I I know I should have came to you guys live a little bit earlier. But I don't know if you see my Facebook post. I was assigned to work 13 hours today at the nursing home. And I saw that. I was like, oh girl, I didn't get to work till I was supposed to be there at 7 30 and got there almost at nine. <laughs> So, and I was planning to go live today. I was going to talk about Black in Chicago. I was going to talk about um the last episode of Housewives of Atlanta. I was going to do all that today, but I figured I'll get Black King out of the way and I can do Atlanta tomorrow evening. <laughs> hey, see, I'm going to watch that. I watched like the uh, Black in Ch uh, Chicago and I watched Love and Hip Hop Miami mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. See, Miami I haven't tuned in to Miami yet. Not this year. I love me. And you know what I've been getting into this year? Uh, year? They got a new one called the Cartel Crew. Oh, boy. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of with me on them. I'm going to have to check that out because I think I heard about them, but I haven't tuned into that either. And I'm hoping Miami is going to be a little bit better this season. How is it so far? Because. Last season, I was like, yeah, yeah, it was okay, you know. I like the last season, and see, I, I'm a, I love Bobby. Mm -hmm. Bobby is a fire. I do love Bobby. I do love Bobby. I like him on New York too. Loving hip hop. And New York. you know, I, I got a thing. I got a couple of things to say about all them shows. Okay. <laughs> well, Louis talking about um. Love, love, and not love and hip hop. See now you got me on thinking about love. I'm thinking about a totally different show, girl. Um, <laughs> Black in Chicago. What do you think about them? Like, why? I don't like none of the new girls. I was just going to say that I think they need to throw away the whole, like the whole new crew and Lily too. I'm about sick of Lily. Yeah, Lily starts a lot of shit. I'm about sick of Lily with her. Uh, I'm almost 25 now, so I'm about to be acting more grown. I'm like, we'll wait. <laughs> Talk see, about you. See, my problem with Chicago is they all disrespected Ryan. Always. Every single one of them. Always. And Charmaine was the ringleader. Always. And you know what? Remember Charmaine Bain. Remember, okay, you remember when she had went on, okay, I understand that he shot up the shot. He, You know, he did all that and whatnot, but by her going on IG or going, you know, basically on social media, she could have got him arrested, even though it was wrong for him to shoot inside a building. He could have really got arrested and did some time. And then she turns around and with four, you saw how she went on her show, and spoke about his what? videotape. I was like, really? <laughs> and that's supposed to be your boy, your fan. Right. Like, you didn't learn the first time. <laughs> what a dude was like, well, you know, wouldn't it, come, wouldn't it be easier coming from you? No. She should have said no. Nope. She should have said no. Nope. And, and, and the thing about it was, it was already out there in social media, already, already streaming across IG, Twitter, everything. She really didn't have to say nothing. And if she really wanted to, she should have asked his permission. Why? It could have been... Well, it, like, hey, how yeah. you but you know what? I, I don't know how scripted that is because it seemed like dude sprung it on her. Uh -huh. But she probably knew ahead of time. But she had to have known that at some point, if you're doing a gossip segment right at some point in time they were going to talk about that especially since he is right there in their hometown right in chicago and she knows what? him personally yeah and yeah but yeah. that was funny when um <laughs> when he said uh okay remember when she did finally after the fact go talk to him and told him, you know, at first i thought he might be upset about it but i was surprised he wasn't upset he was just like 
oh well, it's okay, whatever. I mean, yeah, yeah. the only person I need to explain to, you know, is his uh girlfriend. And then he said, besides that, I didn't lose anything out of it. And Sean was like, uh, what you mean? You ain't lose nothing. You are single now, right? <laughs> Like you did lose that, your girlfriend, you know, right? That ain't no big loss because Nikki was a trip. She, she was a trip. I was mm. like, oh, she had a very stink attitude. Girl, Nikki, I, girl, okay, who was the chick that he dating? Who was that chick that he went out with last show? Like, what was her name? Uh, uh, I can't remember damn, her name. I can't think of her name. Me neither, but, but for some reason... I don't know why, but I was thinking that's what I'm but saying. He was her. But was that the girl that he sent the video to? Because he was saying on the show, oh, you know, the reason why we kicking it is because, you know, I did her tattoo and we was vibing and, you know, I wonder if that's the chick he know, sent the video the to. But see, you know what? I hadn't even heard of this video until I was watching the show. Really? Girl? Um, that was like, that was like, uh, what's that one dude name? Uh, <laughs> Safari. That was like one of them videos. Oh. I was like, dang, the, the package, the package. But, uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Girl, this, oh, you know. We might need to take a long trip then. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm supposed to be going to Chicago, you know. When it get, get a little warm, somebody I know up there is supposed to be having a 50th um, birthday party or something like that. And so, yeah. Hey, I can find my own fun. I just Girl, need somebody to ride with you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been a shy child in a minute. We used to go all the time when my kids was younger, but I ain't been there in a minute. Girl, the one and only time I went, I would have to tell you about that later. That was a trip from hell. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh Lord! But I really think but I don't the know. The chick that was the shop manager one year, I don't like her. Now her name is um. Let's see. There's Bella. Bella's Bella 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 no, drunk. Bella. No, no, no. There's Brittany Slam. Oh, I'm talking about Brittany Slam. I don't like her either. Like when Ryan was trying to say, um, okay, once once he went to Don's birthday party and they made up, and you know he asked Don to come back. And then he announced that Don was going to be the manager. Like, okay, she got upset. But the night before, you was up there getting mad at Ryan because y'all couldn't drink after work at the um, tattoo shop, which I think Ryan is right. He should have been a made that rule a long time ago because all they do is turn up. Then the cops get called. Right. And, you know, but and she was, was mad. When he got the new crew, that was why right. he made that rule. Right. Because the old crew basically fucked it up for him. So they're going to be mad at somebody. Exactly. They need to be mad at the old crew for all the shit they did. Right. But, but mm-hmm. for her to say that that was sexist, that he allowed Don to have a party, <laughs> no, yeah. it was not. Yeah. What ha- The difference is, you went ahead and did it yourself. Right. Don asked permission. And it was a holiday party, and they always throw Halloween holiday parties. But it was kind of right. like a celebration right. to, um, you know, it was kind of like a celebration to that cute white boy. <laughs> Girl, he was cute, ain't he? Girl, I was like, come through, white boy. I mean, I was looking yeah. at his eyes, his eyes. I was like... Yeah, he is really. He has some swag. He has some swag like a motherfucker. I'm like, that dude straight from the hood. That ain't the white boy that act like this from the hood. That's white boy. You see that? Inside our white boy shit. I was like, his eyes. Girl. He was like, I don't date white girls. I like Spanish women. And did you see Lily? Why you doing it? Why Lily over there squirming in her seat? And she was already t- they was already teasing her because she ain't been doing nothing. They ain't been having no relations. And I was like, Lily, look at that, look at him, Lily, look at him. He checking you out, girl. Yeah. Let me find out the white boy. Finally, the dude that actually wants you. Well, no, Junior wanted her, and he wanted to treat her right, and she was just she was no, she wasn't she ready. Was junior wrong. She was not ready. And I think I don't know. You know, the white dude kind of like, you know, checking her out and everything. But I'm like, after that incident. They both when, know, but see, the thing is, the white dude, they both know a short term. Right. So he ain't going to be in Chicago long. Exactly. So she'll go for it. 
he was just there, you know, just to, uh, just for a moment. A but, guest spot. Right, a guest spot. But when he had, you know, tried to uh, backdoor Van, like when he tried to block Van, when the customer that, came now, back, that was fucked up. Mm -mm, I said, okay, white boy, then just that quick. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, pump your brakes, pump your brakes. Like, just that quick, I went from, oh, he is hot to, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. I'm like, you should know. Not at a tattoo shop. Not at a, Ben oh. look like he's just out of prison. No, Ben, <laughs> see, my thing is, I was like, I just knew, you know, we all know Ben's past, and we know how he gets down, and he will throw up the hands. I was like, Van has grown. Like, I, I can see the growth. Through Van, because any other time he would have jumped that counter. Like, dude, you trying I'm to take my he's, customer? He's changed, but that's because, you know, he, he, him and Jen did break up, didn't they? They did, remember? And then, because uh, yeah, he, he was doing, no, 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 remember? He was cheating on her, and then she allegedly started messing around with somebody else. Remember when somebody had seen her yeah. in the club, and she was all. Yeah, and, and he then, had a. He had a and then she came to the remember the party when they was out of town and he was in the pool and Lily and them was all <laughs> on his head and stuff. <laughs> she jumped in that pool with all her clothes on. <laughs> See, yeah, that was yeah, like yeah. that was like yeah, at the end. She was like, I'm here for it. Jen is not no punk. She is not no punk. That's her man. And that's but I like it. the way but he's been okay. It's a it's a twofold thing. I like Jim because he holds him down. He and does. Keeps him saying, and holds you know, him accountable. Him yep, and holds him but accountable. On, on the flip side, he thinks this shit is about him. He always come about my shop. I help build this, but you didn't put no money into it, bro. Right. That's because you work there. Um, you didn't put nothing down under the policy. You didn't get no money to the bank. Uh, it wasn't so you no loans, no Thank leases. You. you ain't, uh, you know, you ain't here putting no stations up, nothing, dog. Mm -mm. You just work, you was just one of the first employees, right? And if it was up to Van, and that's my boy, but if it was up to Van, you see how he ran Loyal Inc. Like, okay, you went and begged for them keys back. They didn't even get him a, a lease or nothing, and then they didn't turn up, they turned around and not paid Nan. Man, rent payment. <laughs> oh, like, they didn't see. No, I don't that was the reason why. All the last thing. Yes, that's the whole reason why Ryan came back and took over the shop because the management company contacted him and asked him, "Did he, you know, have a location?" And he was like, "Yeah." That's when he was still trying to hook up the new location. And the management said, "Well, if you want, you can have the old shop back because I'm about to put them out because they ain't been paying the lease." So oh. that's why that's why he took that to four and four was like, Oh my god, you about to bring me up in here and tell them that they can put out because they ain't paid the lease. <laughs> yes, four was like and then that's when Don and Four got into it because Don was like, Hold up, you been kicking with Ryan all this time and you knew we was getting put out and I just became manager at Loyal Inc. and now I'm, now he has no job. So that's why for uh, you know what? Like you said, that's loyal ink. <laughs> who is your who does your loyalty lie with? Girl, they mm. didn't, they didn't have no loyalty in that shop. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't have no they loyalty didn't. in that shop. And, but see, like I said, Charmaine got all of them wild up and the rest of them just followed behind her. Yep. And Lily started running all in band. Like Lily after she left Ryan. And after she broke up with old boy, she started trying to act like she running things in Loyal Inc. Just because she was there at the beginning of Loyal Inc. But she still, to me, was fresh meat. I don't care if y'all, you was there at the beginning of Loyal Inc. But she, she was Even though you've been on the show three years, Lily, you still Girl, fresh She still fresh meat. <laughs> like, for real. And you trying to run things, Lily. Like, uh, and, and girl, you know, uh, what's going call it? That girl who, uh... The uh, what was her name? Oh my God! Okay, Lily. Oh, first of all, Cobra. When she had let uh, Bella, where is she? I don't know what happened to Bella at the at the beginning of the season of last season. Bella, I mean, uh, Cobra had got mad. Remember because they started Loyal Inc. and they started hiring people. She was out of town, and remember Cobra came back and she found out that they had hired all these people and she didn't have no spot in the shop. 
Oh, yeah, yeah I know that. Yeah, Cobra was heated. She was heated. But, um, but I will be too, but Cobra has done her dirt too. Yeah, she has. She has. But they've always done Cobra dirty. If you think about it from day one when she came in, just because she looked different. But Cobra was cold though. She was and then, like, yes, she could. I was tripping, like, okay, what you think about, um, who, wait, what you think about Bella moving in? Oh, no. She would have to go. Girl. I'd have been like, you got, uh, I, I would give her 60 days. <laughs> I'd give her 60 days. She and then you and that. your hollering ass child got to go. Girl, I'm glad I am not the only one. I was like, man, she moving with me. That baby gonna need, like, an eight-foot playpen. Um, she was tearing up like, oh no, no. Yeah, like that first day when she first moved in and she was like, here, here you go. And you can watch the baby. I got a date tonight. Bitch, hold and on. Time up. You, and this how you Time pass pampers. And you got to be real quiet because she sleep real light. I'm like, you better get that girl some little kitty headphones. <laughs> yeah, okay, because this is my crib, and if I need to yell, I'm going to fucking yell. She was like, no, you need to baby-proof your cabinets, baby-proof your closets, baby-proof. Hold yeah, on. She was like, this ain't going to work, and that's not going to work. Uh-uh. Oh, what they do that? No. She need to go back to her brother and his arguing girlfriend, because uh, when, they used, when she used to reside, because I don't want to put no little baby out on the corner. <laughs> I don't want to put the baby on the corner. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is really going on? But y'all, <clears throat> excuse me. Talking? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I don't know what happened. It was like, join the self-conference. And this, I was like, what? I don't know. This thing be tripping sometimes. But I was like, oh, Hanks, no, you ain't about, you and your daughter ain't gonna about to be running my house, and you just, like, just moved in, and I, and I have a feeling, like, okay. Well, they the done already this, got into it, didn't yeah, that's what one of them, uh, he was like, they got into it, because she got drunk or whatever, and he goes, oh, that was last week at the that party. That was last week at the party, at the Halloween party, and what is up with Bella? Like, Bella, like, it seemed like for a few days... She been asking for a fight. Like, she been asking for a fight. Getting into it with everybody. Then she got into it. Okay, the girl um, that uh, Van had brought in there oh, to be his God, apprentice. Got into it with her. I don't know. And her name was like Evanita or something. Evanita. Yeah, she was like, uh, first of all, um, Lily, why are you being nice to her? Like, Lily was being cordial. Yeah. They was taking selfies of their costumes. And then, like, out the blue... Why is you being nice to her? She ain't nine, Meg. You ain't either. <laughs> I'm so be told. Oh, Bella, Bella ain't nothing but a drum. Ain't nothing but a drum. That's true. She gets all she she white girl wasted. And it was like, sit down somewhere. Ain't nobody checking for you. Girl, she a white girl wasted, and then she wants to fight. Like, all the time. But see, that girl, okay, see. Some of these people think because they're not mad, they think that they got like all this clout and stuff and people ain't scared of them. Please, that girl Evanita was like, <laughs> come on then. She's like, I'm here for her. Come on. And then the chick outside, the, the chick that she didn't even know, like once they took her outside, they was trying to calm yeah, her she down. Like, and what that chick was like, who is that? It's a random was, chick. Some random, some and then Lily was trying to help her and was like, stop. And then she oh, turned on Lily. Lily was like, hold on. You Girl, must not know. They had each other's hair and they was scrapping. And I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, when I say I rewinded it like 10 times, because I'm like, where did it flip? From her going off on Evanita, then going off on the stranger, the girl outside who she didn't know, then her and Lily start fighting. I kept rewinding it, and I think what happened was the camera angle was like away from them for a second on that girl that was in the mm -hmm. parking lot, and that's when Lily and them started fighting because once the camera went back, they was just pulling each other hair, and I'm like, dang, we missed it! Yeah. Like... <laughs> But I'm sure next weekend they're going to say, you know, what happened. Like, why they fought. And they oh, probably going to... I was so mad. I'm like, dang, I didn't see what happened. 
if who, I mean, if if Lily was trying to restrain her or we, they didn't show none of that. But see, initially, I think that's what happened. Lily was trying to restrain her. Mm -hmm. And girls just started flipping out. It was like, okay, now you're doing this to me, but where are you and your baby going to sleep tonight? Right. And I know uh, well, Lily was saying, you know, since she's 25 now, she's going to act more grown, more mature. I have to give it to her. She was acting real mature at that point because, you know, Lily, normally she would have been in there, too, with Bella or with whoever that was working with Nine Mag, you know, trying to jump the girl or, you know, whatever. But, right. I mean, I think she had had enough of Bella that night. Like, girl, what? I'm trying to help That's you keep what, your and job. And that Gina chick, ain't that Ryan's quote-unquote, uh... His uh, assistant. First of all, if she don't come out somewhere, girl, if she, she don't, don't pick up, if she because, don't, like they told her, Ryan is the Ryan is the owner. Right. You are his assistant. You you are not over me. You don't tell me what to do. He he just spoke. I heard him. Right. Cool. Who are you to come in and start trying to chastise somebody? <laughs> We're gonna need you to take several seats and shut the fuck up. Because when she was, when he had got into it with his manager, she was like, "Yeah, and this is Ryan's shop, and y'all and that that that, and y'all." I was like, "Hold on, this is why yeah. they thinking that they sleeping together because she was up there defending him and standing up for him, like they had something going on." Like, I can picture his girlfriend, you know, his baby mama. I can see her doing the same thing because she's done it, you know, before. Like, oh, you know, she, she, she got his back. Like together no more. Right. And you know what? That was surprising. I did not see that coming because last season, I Rachel did. seemed like she was like, okay, you know, you did this, you did that. But she was still with him. And so I was like. I mean, but think about it. We done all been there. For most know. of us, I you know, know, you say, okay, I'm going to forgive you, I'm going to get over it, but it's still there in it's your mind, up. and you just, it's something you just can't let go. But you see, you know what, you know how they don't show us everything? I think, and this is just right. what I think, I think that outside of the cameras, Rachel probably contacted Kit. To get the whole story. Because you saw how much Ryan was like, don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Stay away from her. You know, all that. He was blocking. He was yeah, trying he was to keep blocking. Kat away from her. Like, really? Oh, he was trying to keep Kat away from her, yeah. Rachel. Right. Like, put her out the shop and made her seem like she was a Jezebel. And that she was just out to well, break up relationships and stuff. I thought that was so wrong. But I mean... I don't think she was out to break up there. No, I think, okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to, okay, let, let me keep it 100. I don't think she was there to break up Ryan right. and Rachel's but she relationship. But she wanted to clear she her name. She was kind of the top core, one right. of them anyway. One of them. But I think, you know, I, I'm with Kit. You is not going to be making everybody seem like I'm this, that, and the third, and you're this perfect whatever, whatever. You put me out the shop. You know, once we got okay, remember when they was in the shower? That's like yeah. the, that's like the um story that she had told uh, Rachel, how they was in the shower and some of the Black Ink crew had caught them. Then that's when mm -hmm. they don't. That's once that's when they like realized they were having relations. Um, Ryan, he basically put her out the shop because of the fact. He found they found out and he didn't want his girl to find out. Like they've been cool for years and years and years. And then he well, the just pulled her out the shop. Apparently but, they had been messing around off and on right. for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And and then when yeah, they got busted to to Rachel, right. but it was Danielle and Charmaine at first who was just pumping it up and they was dragging it way. Out. Because they were I, this was something between I thought you know I felt like this was something between Ryan and Kat. It didn't have nothing to do with Charmaine and Danielle. But you know why Charmaine and, and Danielle was was uh, mad? They were mad because he got busted. Danielle and Ryan used to mess around, right? And see, I, I heard that. I heard they were, but I don't know if it went all the way. Like I don't know. They did. They I were know he, 
I'm like, see, and see, that's why her boyfriend was getting mad all the time whenever she was around Ryan. And that's probably why they were mad. Danielle and uh, Sean was probably mad because, okay, you put her out because you got busted. But like she said, she came back. She said, we can squash all this. We can be strictly employee, employer, and we can squash all this shit. Nothing but the strictly business. But I think it had a lot to do with his girlfriend. He kept trying to make her believe that it didn't happen. And that's why Charmaine and was pissed off because, and the rest of them, uh, Ryan, I mean, not Ryan, but Van and all that was pissed off because uh, Ryan kept lying and saying it didn't happen. That's why they was pissed off. Like, just fess up. Just say it really happened. Just tell your girl you, you was, you know, digging down some other girl and move on. But he kept making it seem like Kat was lying. That's why everybody was mad. But my thing okay. is, he should have just told the truth. Let me do you. He still should have just told the truth. But it's like your manager, I mean, you got to put yourself in that position. Like, your manager is lying on one of y'all co-workers who y'all love to death. Like, they, like, really was family. And he's lying, saying Kat's lying. That's why they kept standing up for Kat. But, you know, in the end, I understand why Ryan was like, okay, forget all y'all. But he still was a punk. Right. He, he still was a punk he because he's still lying. Lying. And right. he went and did his own thing. And right. they still wasn't happy about that. <laughs> nope, because he tore up the shop. <laughs> he, he, he tore that shop up. I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Like, you really <laughs> shot bullet holes in the shop, my dude? You really what? put bullet holes in the shop? Like, he could <laughs> have got arrested. Like, he really could have got arrested. <laughs> But I mean, wow, I'm gonna take that chance. <laughs> I'm just like, wow. But you know what? Okay, Keonti, tell me if I'm reaching. But I think Cat gonna try to come back now that he's oh, broke up. So. Now that he's broke just up, just like all the rest of them done came back because yep. whatever they done did on their own failed. Yep. They don't have the business skills like Ryan. Yep. And that's why Van and even sat down somewhere. Like, they depend, whether, they believe, whether they admit it or not, they depend on one. Right. And that's why I was like, like you said, Van up there, oh, I built it from the ground. I built it from the ground. I built it from the ground. Y'all ain't built shit from the ground. Y'all might have worked there from the time he opened. <laughs> what? But I'm sure he, he paid for the pictures. He paid for all the two, I mean, the chairs, the, the I mean, decorations, the, right. the deposit on the utilities and all that. I hate when people say they built something for the ground. If you wasn't there at the bank putting in your, you know how people really go in together? Like you get 30, yeah. you get 20, you yeah. get whatever you got because it's not always equal. Partners are not always equal. They give whatever they got and they work together and build the company. Because that's just how it's done. They didn't get him nothing to start that company. You can't say you built something from the ground. You can say you was there from the jump. But that's it. Exactly. And that's how he should say that. He was there from the jump. Right. Not, I helped you build it. No. Yep. Because that's you know what? It works. There was a job. <laughs> there was a job. I used to work at, uh, oh my God. I worked there for like five years. And then that was during the um, when the uh, housing, the market, because, you know, I worked in real estate a long time and the housing market had went down and they laid off like darn near everybody in the company. I couldn't say y'all start. I started. I help y'all build this from the ground, even though they had came here and opened up. And I was one of the first ones to get hired. I mean, we literally was like the first people to get hired at this company. And then they laid us off five years later. And I can't be like, uh, mm -hmm. I helped build y'all from the ground. <laughs> hey. uh, well, I was fine. <laughs> Girl, I'm like, I think, matter of fact, I think I got a little severance pay, but it wasn't nothing to brag about. But I'm like, what the? I don't know. They see too many of these. My, oh, and then another thing, as far as like all these tattoo um, shows, 
why they all seem like they ran the same way? Like the people in charge, Ryan, um, Caesar, and, you know, they seem like they have no control. Some, I don't know what he on right now. They cannot control these shops. Why? But you know what? Ryan got tired of control and he is in season do. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I hope this season, and like Ryan said, we can have fun. We can have fun. But that does not mean, like, okay, why, ask me this. Why can't y'all, instead of partying after work every night at the shop and keeping up y'all people who live around the shop, why can't y'all go to a club or go to one of y'all houses? What? Like, ain't that what people normally do well, when you leave do it work? at your workplace. Exactly. I mean. Now that's the one thing I'll agree with Gina with. Do you drink any other job you had? Did you drink on the job or after that job at at the place of what business? Exactly. No, you didn't. And can you imagine the utility bills? They in Chicago, Girl. so imagine the winter. They stand in there three, four, five, six hours after work. Kicking it all the time. That's like, I mean, that that just makes like the utilities go up, and he's responsible for all that stuff. Why? I don't know. I think Ryan, he needs to. I'm glad he fired her, the manager, and I'm glad he hired Don because I really think Don will be a better manager. But she, she, I she burned herself funny. because if she would have just shut her mouth and kept her mouth shut instead of protesting to them sharing the manager position. He could have been helping her, you know, help her run things more smoothly. But instead, she got demoted. <laughs> he said, well, okay. Go bad. Okay, since you think it should only be one manager, I'm going to give Don. He said, okay, I'm going with Don. Right. <laughs> I'm like, that's what you get. That's what you get. You should have kept your mouth shut, girl. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to pay to be quiet. I just don't like her. I don't like Gina. I don't like Bella. I mean, I don't know. And I used to like Charmaine, but I don't like her now. Charmaine is, she's a character. She is I a like Nick, though. So Nick fine and I'm all her. Girl. Girl. Mini ball and like that? Oh, yeah. I like Nick, babe. Girl. I'm like, he is, he I don't know. But he's very, he seems controlling. You think he's controlling? A little. A little bit? And he seems kind of old-fashioned. Well, I know he's old-fashioned, but I think that's more, has to do more with religion because of his mom. Because remember last season when his mom and them was going off because Charmaine wanted to have a baby? And she found out they was living together for like the last two years, and he never told her. And <laughs> she was up there because ain't she from uh where was she from uh I forgot what island she was from. Was it not Jamaica? Um, what, oh my God. Or the, no, his his mom. Uh, oh my God. girl, so, something like that, something like that, and she was upset. Like, hold up, y'all been shacking for two years, and now this girl trying to tell me, forget marriage, we can just have a baby, and I'll be happy. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. like, <laughs> but then she took that pregnancy test and found out they wasn't pregnant, so I don't know. <laughs> but Nick ain't really, I mean, this is uh, episode three, and it's about to be episode four this week, and Nick ain't really been in the picture too much, you know? He was in there last week when she was talking about she wanted to go back and work with Ryan. And, this, and it was like, oh, now you want to be with Ryan again. Yeah. 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 I'm just surprised she, I, I don't know. Like, he didn't even come to the over there And it ain't easy to run no shop on your own. Right. But I'm surprised he did come to the, uh, he didn't come to the Halloween party. Um, usually they always attend the parties together unless he's out of town, out of the country working, but I don't know. I don't know. I hope everything's going okay because they do seem like they're, you know, they're a cute couple. Yeah. They're a cute couple. Yeah. They are. And I'm glad, I'm glad they ain't showing Ashley so much. Oh, Lord, she got, she got a month. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, um, she was, okay. I'm glad they back together. 
Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, let me discuss that. She moved to Texas, to Texas. and left right. one kid and took the other. Right, yep, yep. Yep, she took the baby okay. and left the older kid up here so he could stay in school. I was like, do you know how devastating that is to that little boy? Uh-huh. Yeah, Don was That your mama pissed. leaves you? Don was pissed. And I'm I surprised too. she and left. And he was crying, and I was like, oh, poor. My heart was just breaking for you. I mean, me personally, if I really had to. See, the thing was with that was, it, it, you stay in Chicago all this time, all your life, and the only person that you can go to for a place to live is way down in Texas. Like, you ain't got, I mean, I know she had family up here, family down there, but if I really had to move because of this man mistreating me or whatnot, I'm not, no, you're going to have to take me to court for to get one of my babies because we all going. And if school, he can transfer, if he got to miss a week or so of school, he can, um, we can try for schools too. That that would have been no problem. People do it all the time. I well, don't agree. He could have waited until he got out of school for right. you know, summer break or spring break right, or something right. like that. Or could have stayed somewhere like I'm sure there was somebody else in Chicago that she could have stayed with. Right, but she always got her home girls over there. They exactly. had a whole building full of people there for the baby shower. Exactly. So exactly. You had somebody that could have helped you. Yeah. yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, her daddy lived there. Yeah. I forgot all about him. I don't know. I don't know why she moved all the way to Texas, but mm, I, and I mean I, I understand, you know, getting to you know, you gotta get away, you gotta get some space. Where, you know, if she, and think about it, had she stayed, probably stayed in Chicago, he would have pestered the shit out of her. Yeah, he would have. Because Don, I think her leaving him, though, was a good thing because she had left him, you know, in the past before. But I think this time, really, I don't know. I mean, I guess it was some positiveness that came out of that because she went all the way to Texas this time. And I guess she was so pissed. Mm -hmm. She was like, I don't care. You you keep that child. I take this child. Uh, I mean, he knew how pissed she was. And then when she came back, you know, I base. I guess she just put down her foot. This is how it's gonna be. Now I hope it works out because them two is one of those couples where I'm like, if he could just stop doing what he's doing, they could probably make a great yeah. couple and they could build a great, you know, foundation and do a lot I think of things. For the most part, he loves her. I yeah. really do. And she's but a good woman. He is not mentally ready for marriage and family. Yeah. He's still, he's still just a man whore. <laughs> and that's something that she <laughs> that's what that's I used to call him though. <laughs> and you know, either you're going to put up with it or you're going to move on. Or you're going to shut up. And I say that all the time. I'm so sick of these women out here that they keep hounding their men and going off on them and cussing them out and putting them on the couch and whoop, 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 and they ain't changing. Like, either you go. going to Put up with the stuff and shut your mouth, or you're gonna leave. Like, what? If, if he ain't changing, no matter what you say, either shut up and let him keep doing what he's doing, or leave. It, it's that exactly. simple. But you can't keep on complaining and complaining and complaining, and you still being with the dude, and you want other people to have sympathy right. for you. Girl. And he's doing the same. And it ain't even like he's changing it up. He's doing the same. Yes. Yeah. And messing with and people then come who, home to you. And mess with people who like, okay, Ashley, she might not be everybody's favorite, you know, cast member, but she's really smart. I mean, she's really smart. She has a lot of knowledge. Um, she had a great career. Um, he messing with these chicks. Like, come on, she gave you two kids. She's faithful to you. She has a great career. She come on now, Don. <laughs> I'm like the well, women he well, be messing come, with. Like, what what do? Come on now, like dudes always be messing with somebody in a lower rank than what they already yeah. have. That's ugh. these are low class, no nowhere going females. Yep, You're and it's right. like if that's what you want to be with, then leave me alone and go be with them. Exactly. 
Exactly. It is really that simple. It, it really is that simple. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. It really is. But I really think Cat is going to come back. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about Cat because I liked her. I really did like her. I didn't. I don't know. I just liked her. <laughs> her big ass teeth used to oh, the shit out of me. Please don't talk about her teeth. <laughs> this girl, them teeth had an area code of their own. I was like, wow. Oh, cat. She don't mean it, cat. She don't mean it. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> and she thought she was so damn hard. It was like, and she was always getting smacked or punched. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh I think God. Rachel tried to beat her up. I know Nikki beat her up. Girl, have a Oh my God! No, you know what? I found funny. Like the funniest thing I found funny in this episode was okay. <laughs> Remember Ryan and them had the party, right? And yeah. and uh, <clears throat> what's the name? Um, uh, Van. Was it Van? Okay, okay, remember when Van and them had ran up on uh, Lily's party, right? And yeah, they, Van and uh, Gia ran up on there. I was like, I was like, Gia, why? I mean, I didn't even see this coming. Like, first of all, I to the subconference, they, um, press number of subconference from one to nine. Hold on, press hold on. star to return to the conference. <clears throat> okay, you there? To join to the subconference, press number of subconference from one to nine. Press star to return to the conference. Hello? Hello? To join to the subconference, press number of subconference from one to nine. Press star to return to the conference. I don't know what's going on with this song. You have joined subconference number one. To return to your main <coughs> conference, press pound star. Okay, I don't know what happened, Keontae. You can call back if you want to. <coughs> but y'all, when Jen, what we was talking about was when Jen and Ryan... <laughs> I mean, not Jen, but Jen and, Jen and Van, they had uh, came to Lily's party because Van was upset because he found out that Ryan had forgave um, Don and they had worked it out and Don was about to be working back at the shop. So, and by the way, Charmaine had told him that, you know, when she had invited uh, Van and Jen and, you know, four to the listening party. Lord have mercy. Let me make sure I got her off this phone. I don't know what's going on with the phone line, but but anywho, anywho, I think the battery might have been going dead in my charger. But anywho, um, Van was upset, so. He had went to Lily's, you know, her birthday party, because you said you're still there? Hold on, okay? Let me see. Hello? Keontae? Girl, I don't know what I was doing. I think I was pushing the wrong, uh, I kept hitting, um, it kept saying hitting one, one pound or something. And I think I was, I hit star. Girl, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what I was doing. But girl, when he had ran, when they had ran up to that party and Jen was like, happy birthday, biatch. I was like, <laughs> she, Ryan had no idea. I mean, <laughs> Van had no idea that she was about to be on that. <laughs> he was like, bang. Like, he that was childish. And I usually give Jen credit for being, you know, <laughs> the, the steady one, but. No, she I don't was know. like. I, 
Happy birthday. You got to ratchet it up to get a higher check, I guess. I guess, honey. But the way they was fighting through that fence, and did you see the person holding up the fence? I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Van up there trying to make up with Ryan, trying to talk with Ryan, and now they probably thinking, oh, they just on some rah rah stuff just coming up here to start some trouble, you know, at Lily's party. But because you remember yeah. her and Lily last season, remember Lily had um told I mean, her, I didn't see last season. Oh, girl, Lily had told her because when Lily had got mad at Van, so what she did was she told his girlfriend Jen that Van had came over to her house one time and started coming on to her and kissed her and they kissed and she swore she swore that that's all they did. And Van, he kind of like it denied, it happening, though. yeah. Van kind of denied it, but I believe Lily. But I also think more happened. I don't think she claims that he kissed her and she put him out. But I, I, I think more probably happened. But anyway, that's why Jen, you know, she ain't too fond of Lily this season. But the thing is, these women are stupid. You mad at the woman? That woman don't have no loyalty to you. Yeah. You are wrong with the wrong person. I mean, you have the wrong person. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. And then, um, I guess, you know, after that, Ryan still wasn't trying to hear. But, girl, the funny part I was going to tell you about, to me, that had me gagging this last episode was, okay, after, after Lily and them got into it, and after he approached Ryan, you know, they was outside, and after they approached Ryan, and Ryan was still, you know, uh, oh, okay, Van was like, but my kids, man, my kids, my kids missing out on money, and I got to take care of my family, and Ryan was like, man, what that got to do with Nine Mag moving forward? I was like, oh, my <laughs> God, Van, when he flexed at him, when he bought up his fist and jumped at him, did you see Ryan jump back? No. Girl, I'm telling you. Like, Ryan, you think you're knocked down, boy. Pick and choose the battle. Pick and choose. I'm like, Ryan be talking. He be trying to act so hard, but I can see right through him. He be trying to act so hard. Like, you ain't that hard. You ain't hard. <laughs> I mean, right. when Van right. flashed at him, you know how you buck at somebody? Like, you about to hit him or yeah. you trying to scare him? He did that, and Ryan jumped back. And then after he realized, after he realized what he did, he kind of smiled, like, <laughs> like, like he was playing. <laughs> I'm like, Keontae, go back. If you recorded that, go back and watch it. I was in tears. I was like, oh, he jumped back, and then he was like, ha ha ha, like you know, like he meant to jump back, or like you know, he just playing around. I'm like, Van will probably get in his cheeks for real. I think Van would probably. Yeah. Girl, you know, you know what would be a good fight though? For real, for real. Who? Don and Van. Really? No, I think Don. I don't know. Let me see. Because Don, he might have the height. And he's muscular too. But Van, he's a little. I mean, people be like, he's short and chubby. Van ain't all chubby now. Sure. No, 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 no. Van got muscles. Yes, Van got some muscles. <laughs> Don ain't just big for nothing. Yeah, Don is like a big Hercules. Ooh, yeah. What? Girl? Ashley, you lucky. <laughs> I be thinking that too, like, ooh, Lord, Ashley. If he can only stay faithful. Right. You can have a look. You can have four and you. You can have looks, talent, career, all that. But if you out there dipping and dapping and everything that's happening, I don't. I don't want you. Shoot, I didn't. I didn't gave up some good cute ones before. <laughs> so look, don't go here. <laughs> looks, girl. We ain't even girl. Looks don't even matter. <laughs> When everybody else get to look at the same thing I'm looking at at night, then looks do yeah. not matter. No. <laughs> no. But that's why I said I really hope that Dawn, after them breaking up, after her moving to Texas, I really hope it works out for them. That's like, okay, Ryan's girlfriend, I really don't even care about their relationship because I think his girlfriend is kind of like, there just for what she can get. I'm sorry, they got a baby and all that, but I just feel that way. Just because 
they have bleaches up the one or they got two together? Oh, you're talking about Ryan? How many kids? Yeah, because I've only seen her with the one kid. I think that. But like, he said kids. I said, Unless I he got a kid by somebody else. I don't know. I thought they only had one together. I think her and him only has one together. Now, I do believe he might have another child. I, d I just can't remember. Oh, okay. I just okay. can't remember. But I know um, Don has the two by Ashley, and then he has that other little girl by the lady that yeah. he used to mess with. The one he cheated on Ashley with. And she's, she's a, a kindling. And she was, I mean, and I okay. thought that was bigger. I thought that was bigger, Ashley, to you know include that little girl and you know in everything they do. And that's as what a I family. was going to say. That's I give her that. She basically, um, after she found out, you know, he had a baby. She still accepted that baby into their life, into their family. And some girls would be like, "Okay, you, I, I know people. I know people right now." that have had a man cheated on them and had a baby outside the relationship and they will not allow that child at their house. The baby is not the baby is innocent in all of this. Right. They allow they allow the man to go visit the child. They even allow the man to take the kids they have together to go visit that child and spend quality time with that child so they know their siblings. But that child could not come around the woman. But you know what? Right I can tell you why. Because the baby may or may not look like the other mother, and it's a it's a constant reminder, right, of what he did yeah. to her. Yeah. But I mean, they eventually yeah. they eventually broke ties. They broke up all together. But when they was in a relationship, and even when they were after a relationship. Like, to this day, they are not in a relationship. And that child still cannot come around the mother, her house, her family's house. You know what I'm saying? They broke up. They separated. But still, her kids can go, her kids can go elsewhere to visit that child that's, with that's the dad. That's, that's just being ignorant and, you know, like they going too far with it, as far as I'm concerned. You Girl. know what I'm that kid had nothing to do with that kid didn't ask to be here. Right. You're right. Period, period point blank. That kid did not ask to be here. You're right. And, you know, for them to, you know, treat that child like that, that child realizes what's going on. I mean, they may not know the reason behind it, but they they feel that difference. Yeah. And then when they grow up, they're going to always think, like, your mom never accepted me. It's, it's going to take a toll later. When they grow up mm -hmm. and when they get grown, you know, because these siblings is going to be so close and is still then be like, you can't come to my mom's house. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, right, right. I don't know. I hope it changes before then. I really do hope it changes before then. But I mean, and then I can't, I can't I've judge never, too harshly because I've never, you know, whenever their siblings are around, and they, you know, they wanted to come over. I always listen. Yeah. I never said no because that's their siblings, and right. they need to get to know each other. Right, right. And I can't and too hard because you have to. Regardless of what happened, happened between us adults, it had nothing to do with them. Right. And I know that you have to always say you have to put yourself in another person's shoes and leave them alone. So I won't judge too harshly. I won't. You know, I'm not judging at all. <laughs> But I'm just like, like you said, the child has nothing to do with it. And that's why I hope later down the line that it will change and that maybe the heart will soften and be like, okay, this is just a child. This is my children's sibling. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I've always been like that, even with, um, my, my son's siblings, like, even if I don't know the mother or they, they whatever, you know, we broke up, he didn't move on, had other kids. Come on over. I always been like that person, like, come on over. <laughs> like, all the kids. Y'all don't want to spend the night. All the kids. And I was one of those people way back in the day who never wanted to have kids, like, never wanted to have kids. So I think God blessed me with kids just because I never wanted to have them. And once I had them, it was like, okay, I might be strict with my kids. I might have some 
rules. Yeah, they better not break. I'm that parent that was open school right in the middle of the classroom and, and flip the hell out on you if you acting up. <laughs> but all the kids always want to be around us. Like, they think, oh, your mom is so cool. You know, that one of those things. So it's like, come on over. It's certain ones that they don't even have they, to ask. They know I am. My kids will tell you. I, they tell me all the time, Mama, you are crazy. Mine too. And I say, good, you remember that. Mine too. They be like, Mom, why is my friend sending you friend requests? Why are they following you on YouTube? Why are they? I'm like, because they like me. Right. <laughs> all they little friends, if I do come to their school, they want to sit around me and talk to me. And yep. they come like, can we come over to your house? Like the little boy to live across the uh, parking lot. I done got so yep. used to him. At first, he got on my nerves this summer. But now I'll be like, oh, I'm here to him. <laughs> and then when I do see him, I'll be like, you come over here and give me a hug. Right. But I treat him like I treat my kids. When I'm fussing at them about something and we do something, I'm like, come here. Why are you over there doing blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going like, to get on you just like I get on them. But that, you know, that's the way it it, it really should be. Yeah. The kids have no those kids. And me, I'm like, okay, I'm not too, I'm not the kind of person that you want to always ask, can you keep my baby? Uh, that's not me. Oh, no, they I don't keep nobody kids. Birthday, no, ma'am. Birthday, party, no, ma'am. And even my brothers in the know, I've always been like that. If your kid is party trained, I will keep them. I don't care if they two, three, four, five, six. If they party trained, I will keep them. <laughs> I am no. not changing papers. I am. I'm not. I used to keep people no, kids, and then because it was funny when I was younger, I always wanted five kids. I always Ooh, wanted five that's kids. Too much. And girl, <laughs> when I had my son, I was like, "It's a wrap." No, that's too much. And, <laughs> and then my daughter snuck in, and then I was like, "Yeah, I am over the kid thing." They were like, "Can we have somebody spend the night?" Nope. <laughs> but see, I'm like, okay, there's just a certain kid that my sons don't even have to ask. I mean, they've been having the same friends since they were like in kindergarten. They don't even have to ask. Like last night, no, the night, was it the night? No, Friday night. We had came home really, 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 really late. And I picked my son up because, no, it was Saturday. I picked my son up from a birthday party. And it was, like, really late, like 11. And he was like, man, Mom, my friend wants to come over so he can watch the football game tomorrow. And his parents tripping. I'm like, is he dressed? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> now, mind you, I had a cake like, order. What the parents say, is he dressed? Because he ain't dressed, I'm leaving. And I had a cake order. Now, did you see Facebook, the cake I posted on my Facebook page? That I made, it was a uh, Fortnite cake. And I posted it on my Facebook oh, page. Yeah, it's real cute, girl. Go check my Facebook page. But um, I had a cake that I had to make that night because I had to be at work at 7 in the morning and a party was at noon. So, therefore, I had to make the cake that night. And, mind you, I want to go home and hurry and make this cake. I'm like, okay, it's 11 o'clock. Is he dressed? He got clothes ready? Okay, we drove all the way on the other side of town to get him. That's how much I that I'm just trying to say that's how much kids, you know, are fond of me and I am fond of certain friends of there. It's like it's no big deal. Girl, I didn't finish that cake till three in the morning. Oh, <laughs> it had to be up to go to work by seven, but I went and got that friend because that is one of my favorites. And he can come over whenever he wants to, okay? It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm about to go get him. Tell him be outside. When I pull up, we can get home like 11.30. I'm oh, mixing wow. up cakes. I'm no, making see, my kids, and all that kind I don't, of stuff. Like I said, I don't necessarily allow kids to spend the night. But, I, you know, if they want to come over and, play, you know, talk to y'all and play and this and that, I don't have no issue with that. Yeah. It's just certain but ones. Like, just certain it's ones. Just, to me, it's so much stuff going on nowadays yeah. with people doing stuff to kids. Yeah. And I don't have time to go to jail. You're right. Because when mine was younger, <laughs> they only had maybe four at the most. I think it was probably three or four at the most places where they could spend the night. 
And I mean, I had to really know their parents and know what's going on in their household. And if they had a husband, if they had a boyfriend, if they had, even if they had a dog too big, my kids wasn't coming over. I was that parent. Like, nope, you got a, you got a Doberman what? You got a rock what? <laughs> you know, boy, you I got, was going to let my son no. spend the night with, and I, it was funny because I was pregnant with Denavia. And he, this little boy, he had been in his class, they had been in school together a couple of years. And so I said, yeah, you can spend the night over there. You know, I had knew the mom, and I went over, and I checked the house out, and this and that. And I was like, okay. So I was shocked that my son was going to spend the night with somebody. Girl, by midnight, my phone rings. He's like, well, mom, I'm ready to come home now. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> you're supposed to be spending the night. He's like, yeah, I'm not staying. You coming to get me? <laughs> I like, boy, yeah, in the morning. <laughs> but I knew, I know my son, I knew something like that was going to happen. He would do that even when he would be at my daddy's house. And that's because, you know, I mean, I wanted him to, you know, be able to stay at family's houses. But he, they, my kids are so wrapped up into me. They are so stuck up underneath me that I can't move. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. But I mean, it is not necessarily a bad thing, but no, it's not. It's, it's not at all because I rather. Okay, what? Who was I talking to? Oh, I was talking to some lady the other day at work, and she was expressing how her son had told her. He's like, Mom, you know, he stays out of town. He's like, Mom, I really wish you could come visit. I just need my mom right now. And she told me, she said, I have to go visit my son when I got off of work. I'm gonna hit the road. I was like, you know what? That means you were an awesome mom. And she looked at me like, huh? And I was like, mm -hmm. for your child but your to call child you, don't actually want to be around right. you. Your grown, and she's, a, she's probably around like 50, and he's like 30-ish. And for him <laughs> to say, M I just need my mom, like, okay, use a good mom. Because a lot of kids... Please. <laughs> well, that's like my mom, you know, she was there for the birth of both of my kids. And my brother and his wife are expecting their first. So she's flying out to Virginia mm -hmm. to be with them for a month. Right. Right. And I agree with that with my mom. It's like, I'd rather for my kids to need to be close to me and under me. Not like under, under, like sleeping in the same, you know, not like that, but yeah, know you know when they get a certain age, but you know what I mean, like they still want to be close to you, like like my mom, I always wanted to stay near my mom, whether it was like six blocks, a mile, I never wanted to stay clear on the other side of town away from my mom, so I'm like, I'd rather for my kids to want to be close to me than to not want to be around me at all. Like some kids, right. like some kids, you see it all the time. Know, I feel sorry for people like that. I don't get it. Yep. And I think it's because I do come from such a big, loving family. <clears throat> and we are very close. Yeah. You know, the thing is, you know, we got a, we got a, a joke in our family. You know, you make one call to my cousin and she contact everybody else. And we all <laughs> seem to pull up at the same time. That's like my cousin. I swear to God, if she makes one phone call, I remember many times, she's like, Taya, well, you need it. I don't care if it's one, two in the morning. And everybody be over there like, where, where the drama at? What, what's good? My cousin be like, you put out the bad signal? Sure. She's like, I put, out the, I put out the flare. I put out the flare. Y'all coming? Right. Who wants, who wants it tonight? Because we there. <laughs> But, and yeah. but she know, but that's how we are. You know, if any of us need the other, all we got to do is call, and it's like, okay, I'm on my way. Where you at? All right. I know many people <laughs> in the past when I left work. What? What happened? He did what? Ooh, my baby sick. Right, my, like, oh, oh, now. <laughs> my baby sick. <laughs> I need to go pick my child right. for daycare. <laughs> but then I watched it. Uh, uh. All you got to do is go in the bathroom, make yourself throw up. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Oh, I, and just the thing is to make sure somebody else is in there can hear you. I feel, I feel ill. I think I may be pregnant. I feel <laughs> now the thing with me though, when I was when I was still nursing, girl, they didn't care. They be like, "Oh, you threw up." Well, here, go down to the pharmacy and pick this up for not a year. You feel like shut. <laughs> I couldn't get away with nothing in that doctor's office. Oh my god! See, that's why I like my job now. And it's not like I would ever do anything like that. 
like that now. I'm much older now. Hey, if you got beef, why handle that? You know, I got kids now. I got my own house. I got my own career. You know, back in the day, that's when you'd be like, okay, well, I'm on my way. Dropping whatever you got. Now, it's, it's different now when you get older. But, um, well, I'll say, like, I'll say this. Know, For the most part, yeah, it's changed. But, you know, there are those one, two, three people in the family that nobody is supposed to mess with. Right. If you mess with that person, then the whole family is coming for you. Right. And <laughs> we got a couple of aunties like that. It's like, oh, no, you messing with her? Oh, I'm you, you better put your running shoes on and hope you gone before everybody get here. We are, when I say we are so tight knit and That's just, we, we are not, we do not play that. That's good, and the thing, if people call me, if my cousin actually has to call me and tell me, hey, Keish, you need to come, um, then it's a wrap. Yeah, I now I got another cousin, Jimmy. Everybody got that one cousin you never call unless everything has gone it, just terribly wrong. Right. Like and that's Jimmy. No, I mean, it's just, it just got to be done. And I feel you on that. <clears throat> but I'm just like, I'm glad my child is not the kind that be like, what's going on? What's happening? Who is it? What's their name? Where they live? You know them kind of jobs. Oh, if you say you're going oh. to a funeral, you got to bring back the obituary. And if you go to the doctor, you got to bring oh, back the doctor. I hated that. I can but do then I found out the law. I can do whatever <laughs> I want. Go I found out the law. They can ask you for an obituary or even if you call in sick. They legally cannot ask you what's wrong. Yeah. They can't. But some do, though, and people who don't know better. People who don't know better, they'll yeah. tell them, oh, I have to go to the doctor because this, that, and the third. No, you don't have to say. You don't have to say. And I work in disability. Mm -hmm. You know, I process disability claims <clears throat> most of the time. So I didn't hear people call me and say, my job asked me, you know, why am I out or why do I got to go to the doctor? And I, I don't want to tell them. I'm like, you don't have to tell your doctor. Legally, you don't, you don't have, have to, to tell, tell your them doctor. Doctor. All you have to tell them is, I won't be here. If you file a disability because you're sick, you don't have to tell them. Uh, if you got disability under your insurance coverage, they contact your doctor, and your doctor, you know, let them know that, you know, you need to be off of work. Mm -hmm. but, so, yeah, yeah, like you said, a lot of people don't know that. And people need to, you know, if you know it, you need to tell people, you know, because right. some people, maybe they, you know, new to the job force, maybe it's been a while since they've been in the job force, yeah. you know, but. Yeah, a lot mm -mm. of people don't know that stuff, but it's not like, some people just probably never been in that situation or, you know. Yeah. Where they have yeah. to be sick and work and they'll be like, oh, you know, my bladder that fell out to the ground. I'm like, you ain't got to tell. You ain't got to tell. <laughs> they better put a swing shot on it and turn it back up. <laughs> I was trying to pick it up, but you know, I need a doctor, you know, and, and just collapse. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Oh my God. But, yeah, yeah, that was funny though when I worked at doctor's office and girls, some of the stuff them people said when I would come in there, I'd be like, oh, okay. okay. One lady come out, she, that's. She said, she told the uh, PA, she said, yeah, my scrotum hurts. And the PA said, what? And the woman kept saying, yeah, my scrotum hurts. Her what? She ain't got the oh, scrotum. Wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, you know she ain't got no scrotum, and I know she ain't got no scrotum. Girl, she was trying to say her sacrum, which is the, like down there by the tailbone. But she got, she's saying scrotum. The PA said it's just everything in her, not to just fall out laughing. I would have hollered. <laughs> I would have left. I would have like, excuse me for a moment, but let me go get some paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, her, what? Her, okay. Was she transgender? Was she? <laughs> oh, my God. We okay. had one lady that used to work there, and it was, oh, my gosh. Some of the, I'm telling you, your doctors and nurses are goofier than you ever knew. Like, I ain't going to say where I was working and who I was working with, but this lady, 
she was trying to describe this woman. Mm-hmm. And she was like, well, it was a real pussy. Just imagine mm-hmm. how she spelled it in the chart. I already know. I already know. That doctor, when he, he was sitting there laughing so hard, and he called me over. He couldn't even tell me. He just pointed and told me to read. And I fell out laughing when I seen that. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Can you imagine reading about a wound and then seeing that? It was like, huh? What is this? Jesus. How come we can't never stay on the subject? I don't know. I'm up here like, okay, now about blacking. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't discuss about everything because my whole goal tonight was to um discuss episode one, two, and three <clears throat> since I had yeah. been a little behind. So we hit like everything from season, I mean episode one, two, and three. So, I, 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 I think, about, but like um, you said, I think in this, what's going to happen is eventually Ryan's going to fire all them new people, and it's going to be the old people again. Yep. But you know what? For a second, like when I was watching episode two of this season, for a second, I and I might be wrong, I might be wrong, but for a second, it seemed like it was totally set up to work out this way. Like, for oh, them yeah. to all fall out, for him to separate, and for them to all, like, when Charmaine, like, she was the last one who I would have ever thought that Ryan would have allowed back in the shop. And it's like he didn't accept everybody back in the shop. And it, 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 I don't know. It seems like it was, I, I'm not saying a scripted show. But like you said earlier, I, I, it's probably not a scripted show. But why does it seem that way to me? Like, am I the only one who's thinking that? No, you ain't. <laughs> I'm just like, it just seems like a coincidence. I, 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 I don't say scripted, but I do believe they had, they are put into situations. Uh-huh. Or they make up situations. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. I really and they do. see how they react to them. That's right. what I, I think happened. But I think Bella got to go. Bella, I haven't liked Bella ever since, you know, when she first started and she had got white girl wasted when they was in Jamaica. She was on the bus. They had to carry her inside. Oh. She didn't remember nothing that happened. The fights, she didn't remember nothing that she was gone. And then when she came to so that the interview. That was part of last season. Was yeah. Bella there last season too? Yep. Remember when she had came to oh, the okay. interview and she was drunk? And Ryan made her go home. That was like the first day she had showed up on the show. Oh, I remember that. Yes. 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 No, that was Dom. Remember Dom locked her up? No, no, no. This was when she had... Oh, no. I'm talking about Brittany. I'm talking about Brittany. Yeah, yeah you talking about Bella. Oh, that know. was funny, though. When Dom locked her out. <laughs> she was like, can I talk to you outside? She was like, you know, come on, come on. She was like, and he said, you pushed her out and locked the door. <laughs> I really <laughs> I really thought that he was taking her outside so he could talk to her Ooh. and get her together. He, She was out there with her shoes, banging on the window, and then he lied and said he was calling the cops. <laughs> he was like, I'm a white woman and I'm scared. <laughs> he said, I'm a white woman, I'm scared. I'm like, <laughs> and this black person is out there. I'm like, Don, you know you wrong. You know you wrong. <laughs> and I really Don thought he was calling the cops. I thought he was calling the cops till he was talking about, you know, white lady and all this. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. That was funny though. But yeah, she needs to go. Her and I don't know. I want Lil I shouldn't say that I want Lily to go. But Lily, she huh, I don't know. Unless she really changed and really started acting more mature. Lily is a firecracker and she just I don't know, like I, I just think if Ryan doesn't get his shot together and get them all on one accord and get them get control of his shop, it's not gonna last. Like unless they just keep on developing, unless they purposely developing all these situations. I don't know. 
I, I, I at this point, I really don't even know what to think. I don't either. I, I do believe Ryan needs to have a title reign on his shop, and I would hate for him to lose Lily because she's a badass tattoo she artist. She is, but it just seems like she's just too hot-headed. And then it seems yeah. like, because these tattoo artists are so great, he puts up with a lot of stuff, but, you know, this season, you know, when he started off, y'all can't have parties, you know, Don... When he told Don, you're the manager now. Like, when he went in there and told Ryan, um, old girl, she needs to go home. She's very disrespectful. Ryan was like, okay, handle it. Because he was trying to do his tattoo. Yes. Okay, handle it. So, I think he is trying to pull a tighter rein on everybody. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, so, but you know who get on my nerves this season? I, I know we talking about Chicago. Uh-huh. But I said, I know we don't much Chicago, but that New York, oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's up with C's and his, his, uh, oh. Oh. So we let Sky just wild out anytime she wants to. And I don't understand. I don't understand. And what does Sky like, do? Like, Sky is supposed to be like, Sky is supposed to do what um, Charmaine does. They they kind of like have the same position like they're supposed to go out there and they're supposed to like like the flyers like the you know they're supposed to help bring clients in. Sky don't do that. No, she don't. Sky don't do nothing. But... Starting, I mean, staring at people, starting mess, and yeah. just, I'm like, she she calm. I say that she calmed down some this season because last season. She was so off the I was like, she need, and people was like, Sky, my girl, and she, you know, she's funny. No, Sky is having a, a serious mental breakdown, and y'all right. are not seeing it. Yeah, I think her. She needs um, to hear psychiatric help. I think her uh, re rebuilding or starting to build a relationship with both of her sons this past season kind of helped. Kind of help her. Oh, but you know, honey, I just read in the blog, he was only doing that for a bag. Are you saying? And he said he was only doing it. Genesis hold said up. he was only doing it for a bag. Hold up, hold up, <laughs> hold up. Are you serious? You I have, am you dead have the forward serious. Blog. Send me that blog, honey. Send me that blog. I mean, uh, uh. Genesis. I just the read it like last night. Yeah, it's all good. Like, yeah, you. So you said him forgiving yeah. her and all that emotional yeah. breakdown that happened was a front. It was part of my leg. That's wrong. So I wonder and if they really, if they really made up though. Uh, because I'm sure they, did. they could. He he still could be like you know what. I just came on the show, you know, for the money and stuff, but, you know, me and my mom, we really, you know, but because he could have technically made up with her outside of the show, you know, I guess that could have happened, but I'm the way like... he said it, it was more like, you know, uh... Like he was faking? Like, you know, it, it, it... How do I want to say this? She... He still... He he's letting go of some of the animosity. He's mm -hmm. letting go, mm -hmm. but he still and rightfully so, as you ask me, that yes, she was a very young mother and yeah. she was inexperienced. Yeah. Um, but people were saying that oh, he just so he just used her for a storyline. He just used her to get on TV. That was what some people were saying. But then there was only like two others that was like. He used her, she used her son yeah. for a storyline. Yeah, she lied, first it. of all, and said that they were twins. And, and I then, don't know why she said that. Like, I think she said that, like, years ago. Like. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah. But she said it on there, too. And then, remember, wow. she called herself writing a letter to her boys. Mm -hmm. And she was saying then that they was twins. And then somebody found out, or was that when that boy, I think he might, I think that was when that uh, Genesis found out who she was, what, where, where was she was. Why would he say that, though? And, because... that she was, and he got with his daddy, and they did that interview at Duchess's shop. 
But why would you make up a lie like that? Like, whether they're twins or not, that's not going to make a bit of difference in the story. I mean, I wouldn't Mm -hmm. think. Like, why would you lie on something like that? They don't even look alike. I mean... (laughs) They don't. They uh, look nothing alike. Like Genesis looks just like her. Yes, he does. And I can tell, like, okay, the way he acts and everything. He acts just like her. Everything. Like, her youngest son acts nothing like her. And then Genesis is like her. But that's why her and Genesis can't get along because they just alike. Just alike. Just alike. But to him, like he, somebody else said, you know, uh, what they were saying on their blog was, you know, Genesis is pissed, and rightfully so, because he said, you know, you owe me 15 years worth of, he said, you never sent a birthday card, you never called, you never just wrote a letter and said, hey, how you doing? What's going on with you? Nothing. You never kept in contact with us until it was time to go on TV. Until it was time to go on TV. And I get that, and I certainly understand why he would feel that way. Because then he was like, you up there twerking and dancing and showing out on national TV. And then, like, every every four or five episodes, you want to be like, oh, my sons, oh, my sons. So, you know, I understand right. where Genesis is coming from. He was like, okay, you gave your kids up early, but you always were allowed in their life. At least that's what I get from the mother who raised them. And she, they had a good mother. Oh, yeah. she was wonderful. With and she them. always gave her the opportunity to be in their life. So right. I get where Genesis is talking about. You know, you had the chance. You didn't have no birthday cards, no birthday present, but you out here on trips. And on islands and just doing the utmost on TV, and you can't send a what? birthday card. But you know, we all don't. You know, we don't know everything about the stories. I just hope that at least the them making up and them being in each other's lives again is genuine. Even if he did, or even if she did, you know, use him, you know, to stay on the show. But I don't know. Mm. Yeah, they. But um. He did it for a bag, and then apparently Dez ain't really messing with her now these days either. What? Oh, mm-hmm. Lord. When the next so, time do Black King New York come on? They on hiatus uh, right now. They on, yeah. So I'm I'm waiting to hear more about what's going on with that. Yeah, I'm going to start having to take the blinds out so I can find out what's going on with that, too. Yeah, that's a trip. Whatever happened to Kevin? Nobody can answer me what happened to Kevin. Kevin? Hold up, Kevin. Our Black Ink Crew, New York. The tall gay dude. The one that, remember when he first got there, Bay was all over him. And then they, uh, she found out that he was gay and they just became like best friends. Oh, the one that she wanted to have her baby? Him? Yeah, and, oh. he, and he, was, he ended up in. His- <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot all about him. I, I remember now. She she wanted him to have her. She wanted to use his sperm to have her baby. And remember, she had that party. She had that party where she was gonna use the turkey baby. in the bathroom with a little joke. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I don't, know what happened. I don't know what happened with Kevin. I don't remember, but that was funny. She had the turkey baster. She had a party. Uh, and, and, and I remember they was in the bathroom, and she got mad. But then they had, like, made up after that. But, I mean, hey, that I have That wasn't Bay. That was Scott. Scott had that party, and it was the dude that she wanted. Remember, it was, the, it was another gay yeah, dude Scott. that she wanted. Her, her friend. Oh, okay. that's, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the dude Sky. That okay, the dude that was um, he was gay, and then he had ended up liking yeah, another gay guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, I don't know. I think he stole my spot. <laughs> 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 Is she running around with that turkey baster? That was <laughs> that was hilarious. That was so. And she had a damn bed in the middle of the damn party. Oh, yeah, in the middle of the party. Was way too 
lives in New York, they, they be wilding out. That's and the one thing I can understand is they never, I, there's a bunch of people there that I don't understand exactly what their job is. That's what I'm saying. Like Walter, Sky. I don't Wait. understand what Walter do. Walter. I don't I, know what Teddy do. I think Walter do. is, um, I think Walter is like, you know what? Okay, I ain't even gonna exactly. lie. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> and what's the other dude? The one that was uh, that lost his kids. That's Walter. No, no. Okay, well in that case, I'm talking about Teddy then. Okay, so Teddy, Walter, and Sky. Teddy what do they do? Sky don't do that. Sky used to be the receptionist, then she kept crying to be the manager. But he and always hot. He still ain't doing nothing. But then he always fired Donna. And then, see, I can't wait till the new season start because he fired Donna. He the fired Alex. Donna and Alex. Wrong. No, he did. He did them so wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe. You know what? I can't wait till the new season start. I know we're supposed to be talking about Black in Chicago tonight, but um, <laughs> no. But for real, like the way that season ended with C's treating Alex so badly. And fighting him and him and, him and his uh, cousin uh, Teddy jumping him. Like, Alex, I have said in my review, Alex weighs about a buck 40. Maybe. And Teddy, you see how big he is. You see how big C's what? is. And, they, and Teddy thought it was cool to jump him. See, yeah, that, that really like, hurt I mean, me. Like, sucker punch him. Like he that, sucker girl. punched him in the girl. back of his head. At that party, and I was like, I was so upset. I was, I'm like, okay. That's I'm, why Chip was like, you know what? He, Puma was like, it he. was wrong. And that's what Alex and Donna need to do, too. It was so wrong. It was so wrong. And then they even tried to come back and try to apologize and try to. And C's was just like... No, C's didn't. C's was like, I ain't apologizing for No, that's what I'm talking C's about. C's was apologizing for me. And it was like, for what? Yeah, Donna never wanted to... Well, Donna wanted to possibly come back, but Alex was like, really? Really? Well, Alex was like, no, I ain't gonna be mistreated by nobody. I ain't and I don't blame him. I ain't mad at him. But we shall see, honey. We shall see. But shoot, I'm about to uh, get off this line. Right. We don't talk about everything under the sun. Yes, and I have to be at work early in the morning again. Early in the morning again. I have a very, 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 very long day again tomorrow. 7 30 to 8 30 at night. But tomorrow night, I know you don't watch Atlanta, but I'm gonna do uh Housewives of Atlanta tomorrow night. Wow, finally. I don't watch that. See, and I, I don't have cable, so I watch my shows on YouTube. Somebody records them at night, they put them on there. And then I watch them before they take them down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, sure, you can always tune in, even if you don't watch the show. You already know how it goes. You can always tune in. And you need to let me know, too, if you ever want to be on my show. On my sister from another mystery segment. Oh, Lord. The two of us together. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Girl, they ain't ready. They ain't ready. <laughs> They going, they are not ready at all. <laughs> yeah, let me know. Shit, you already know what shows I watch. And <clears throat> usually the sisters from another mystery segment, though, is usually on um, movies. But we do every now and then do like regular uh, trending news or celebrity news. We do, you know, have a segment on that. But so, you know, just let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna try to see if I can find that uh, article and send it to you. Okay, please do. Please do. All right. Okay, honey. Good night. Right. Thank you for calling in. You know, I always love you. To man, we can talk all night. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we we all need to get together night. again. But I'm gonna talk to you because uh, about that group that started. So. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, so I'll talk to you later. All right, honey. Good night. You too. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, everybody. I know we kind of went left. We started off talking about Black Ink uh, Chicago, and then we got to talk about other things. 
And then we jumped on Black Ink New York. And then we kind of brought it back. <laughs> but I hope you guys really enjoyed the live. It went a little long tonight. Um, again, I was supposed to do Housewives of Atlanta review tonight and Black Ink. But I ended up having to work all day long at the plantation. So anyway, um, tomorrow night I will come at you live and do the Housewives of Atlanta review for the last episode. So make sure you tune in. I will, of course, post a notification so you guys can get the notification tomorrow. But as usual, in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, make sure you click the like button. Make sure you share to your social media platform, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or whatnot. And if you are not a subscriber, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very kindly. And in the meantime and in between time, Prime Time Squad, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces.